Hello, Blake Root is here with Everyday HDR and HDRinsider.com, and today I want to show you a flash tutorial on how you can make awesome vignettes like this. Here's your before, here's your after, in under three minutes. I've got a lot to teach you, so let's go. All right, so vignettes. Vignettes can be tricky. They're powerful in that you can direct the viewer right into the center of your photograph, but if they're done wrong, they look absolutely horrible. So let's take a look at how we can make a really good vignette in less than three minutes. The first thing I'm going to do is make a new layer here. Press Shift F5 to fill this with black. If black is not there, go ahead and scroll on down to black and press OK. You can also use the paint bucket tool, but I haven't used that in about 10 years. So here you have the marquee tool. You can use a rectangular marquee or an elliptical. Depends on what you want. I want a box. So I'm going to make a nice little box vignette here. So now that I've made a box right in the middle, I can go ahead and press the mask. Now it's the inverse. We have black in the middle instead of black on the sides. So what do we do? Well, we invert the mask. You click right on that mask layer, press Command or Control I to invert that mask. And now we have this uh, nice looking box border around the photograph. But we don't want a border. We want a vignette. A vignette slowly fades into the photo. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the, uh, go to the properties of the mask and take the feather and move that on over until those edges just kind of barely cover the outside. This is a pretty good vignette, but it's very dark. It's very obvious that I used a vignette. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the opacity and drop the opacity to about 50%. So it's less noticeable that I made a vignette, but there's still areas that show me that I made a vignette here. So I can zoom in here and show you that this area of white should be white. So what I'm going to do is double click on the layer and I'm going to use the blend options. And basically what the blending options do just allow me to protect certain elements. So my main focus is the underlying led layer or the tree. So I want to protect all of the white areas from the vignette that I have selected here. So if I press Alt or Option on this blend if, I can go ahead and split that paddle so that it allows me to feather in anywhere where there is areas of highlight. So now that vignette, if we look at the before and after, that vignette no longer covers our highlight areas, it only covers our mid-tone and shadow areas. Here's the before, here's the after. So we get a nice little vignette that comes in, it's really quick, it's really easy. Let's go ahead and do this again on another photograph real quick. So I'll just pull this image in. I'm going to go and make a new layer. Shift F5, fill with black, get my marquee tool, come on in here, make a mask, invert the mask, go to my properties of that mask, increase the feather, and then drop the opacity down to 50. Double click right in here. Split this by pressing Alt or Option on the blending options, and we have ourselves another vignette. You can also change the blending options to something like Soft Light if you'd like to, so it's not so powerful. So my name is Blake Rudis with Everyday HDR and HDRinsider.com, and today I showed you how you can make awesome vignettes on your photographs in under three minutes. So it's unacceptable if you get those big old black vignettes around your photos now. Those aren't those aren't effective. An effective vignette is one that's not visible. If you like this tutorial, please share it. I'm sure somebody else wants to see something like this. Subscribe because every Friday I have new tutorials just like this that come out. Sometimes you get these flash tutorials and other times you get a longer tutorial.